Hey everyone, what's up? It's time for another five minute chess game. We're playing Alonzo Mosley, whoever that is. We're doing well in five minutes still. Uh, one nine out of the last ten. Uh, I gotta get my rating back over 2400. So, castles. Um. Alright. I, I, uh, I guess I can go. Let me think. Alright, C5 is the move, I know. I just. It's just this new line. I'm not like extremely in love with it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it. I just kind of feel like maybe white has some tiny edge in these lines. I, I want to I want to come up with a new way of playing against this knight f3 system, pretty much some like obscure way that nobody else, uh, some way that nobody else plays. Like, uh, this is the move, right? If I'm not mistaken, followed by knight to b7. And then I have to remember what I do. Some kind of rook c8 move, if I'm not mistaken. Bishop e7 looks like the only thing. <sighs> okay, I think I play rook c8 here. I think it's my own move. I don't think it's actually ever been played. Mm, I think I just kind of recall coming up with an idea like this. If knight a7, I think rook c4 is okay. I could be remembering wrong, but the idea is next move a6, I think. And my glass is so messed up. Uh, yeah, a6, because if he goes knight c3, well, I take an f3 and... Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> maybe I take an f3 and maybe knight a5, actually. No, then he has b3. No, then I take on a... I take on a, uh, a3. I just remember some knight a5 ideas. And maybe I'll do it anyway. Okay, it looks annoying. Annoying moves are always good. Uh, queen a4 is probably normal. Then d6 threatens e5. I have all kinds of weird threatening moves that I can make. I feel like his position's a little clumsy. That move just looks bad to me. Can't quite explain why, but it does. I guess d6. Make him move his knight somewhere. Alright, whatever. So I'm threatening e5. He has to move a piece. Uh, probably knight f3. Or knight b3. Another move that looks shady to me somehow. <laughs> I don't know why exactly. I kind of want to let him take on a, a5. Other possibilities, knight b7. For some reason, I'm making this move. Is it good or not? I have no idea. Uh, these double pawns, I'm hoping that they're restricting his queen side somehow. If c5, queen b7, check. Or, or e5. Uh, I guess, I guess queen b7 immediately. Where do we go? Was he going to go b3? I don't know. I have e5, e4 coming too. It's a possible idea. e5, e4, e3. Wow, really? You can just do that? Isn't that surprising, but I guess it's okay. Uh, all right. I guess I'll play this move. This seems very, very suspicious to me, this whole line of play. Queen b2, queen c2, queen take... Oh, that wins for me. Uh, queen b2, queen a4. Bishop takes, pawn takes. I win the rook. All right, I'm just going to take this. I'm just scared to blunder something uh, from what I, I'm pretty sure is a pretty good position. Um, you know, 
bishops a little bit pinned. I don't, I don't know how good it is, though. I mean, I do have these double pawns, so, like, how useful are they, really? He's a little, he's a little tied up, but still, it's, I don't know, maybe just queen d3 and rook d1 or something. Oh, no, that loses to bishop takes bishop. And his, he has to watch his c1 rook is the thing. Queen a3 is somewhat annoying because I'll be... The queen on a3 is eyeing the, the bishop on d6. Doesn't that... Didn't I say that loses? No, no, it doesn't lose. That was another move. Um, I was thinking maybe just queen a3. Then rook a1. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Queen a3 might be losing to rook a1, actually. No, it's not losing. Just unpleasant. Hold on, Greg. Figure something out. Queen takes, knight takes, bishop takes, pawn takes, rook takes, rook takes. Looks ugly. Well, I guess I'll just take and see what the hell happens. Uh, is knight d4 good? Eh, I can go queen c4. Or I can go queen b7 or queen d5 also. Queen d5 might not... Eh, queen... Yeah, it all works for me. Um, so now knight e4. I'm just going to assume that it's like okay at the worst. I'd be surprised if the move's not okay. But I mean... You know, he may be able to get some equality here. Because if he wins my a, a6 pawn, position's about even. My glasses are so shaky now. Where's my regular glasses? Shoot, they're in the other room. What? Alright, uh, up on time. What's he going to do with his queen? Queen d4. I don't know. I guess I'll take and take with a rook on d6, and I'll defend my a pawn. The thing is, in a position like this, to win technically with just a minute 30 left, it's, it's very hard. So usually I, I play for a combination. Even if I'm up a pawn, I'm going to play for a combination of winning on time and winning on the board. Because I think it's easier to win in time than actually to win to win with this extra a pawn in 1 minute and 30 seconds. So it's kind of annoying, but what can you do? Well, I guess I'll take it. I guess I'll take with the bishop. Mm, I don't know which move now. Uh, queen b6? Looks ugly-ish. That was a nice move in his part, I think. Maybe this, for some reason. This queen is good on e4. And I'm going to make it go somewhere worse, I think. Queen b1 looks like the right move to me. Wow. Alright, I guess I'm going to take this. And then, I think I can take this. Now I'm up a pawn, no matter what. Being up a pawn is very useful. What is this move, man? Crazy dude? Or I'm going to defend my pawn. Ah, uh, let's get a place for my king. Don't want to deal with any any nonsense here. Threatening d4 knight also. Ah, uh, just make some aggressive fast moves. And watch him try to deal with it. Ah, uh, just do this somehow. I, I think if he takes an h, oh, h6, his knight's a little clumsy. Threatening... Oh... I mean, he was low on time, so. Let's go rook here. Threatening f5 is like mate. Oh, he found the defense. Well, I win his rook. Oh, it's checkmate also. Yay, me. Alright, um. This game was kind of solid, I think. I was better the whole time, at least. Let me just check uh, some some details here. 
Bishop F4. Let's see, did I play good moves? A6, Knight, knight D4, D6. Yeah, this is a little interesting. Knight C3, I was going to play... I thought take a knight A5. It's suggesting some pawn sack. Oh, and then bishop B7. I didn't see that. That would have been interesting. I mean, I can also play bishop C6 if I want. The position is, is playable. That looks eh, shaky, but not so bad, right? The two bishops are nice, though, but the black should be okay here. Hmm. Oh, well. Whatever. I win. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, see you later, YouTube. Twitch people, stick around. I'm going to play one more game.